YouTube, what's going on guys? So listen, I'm scrolling down looking at Barber Tutorials and I see a thumbnail that really caught my attention. If this thumbnail don't catch your attention, like I don't know what thumbnail will. This one right here. What in the world is going on? Guys, what? So this is a 360 Jeezy video. I gotta click on this. I gotta see what, what haircut he's doing here. Cause this is gonna be a first for me. <laughs> It's gonna be a first for me. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, Jesus, a nice crib, bro. What is going on? I would have sat down like that. It would have spilled all over me. Bro, bro, wait a minute. What are you doing? Here? Editing you is doing on here? point. What are you doing in my house, bro? What you sitting there for? Hey, you got to leave. Oh, you don't belong here. What you mean I don't belong here? You gonna drink my coffee? Go, go to work. Better have my, my dinner ready and everything when I come back here. Yo, editing is insane. That, that takes that takes some work to, to create that. Alright, look at this. Look at this before, bro. What in the world? So before out. I start the cut, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the hair out. I need an explanation. Jeezy, like, how did you even find this guy? He actually has waves up under here. So he's trying to get waves with this kind of, you know, diagonal uh, mohawk that he got going on with the dreads. And before y'all get on his head, listen, he's a barber. He's doing something different. He does not care what other people think. You know what I'm saying? Number he had to be a barber. Oh, what he's trying to do is have waves on the, on, on the top and this mohawk dread look in the back. To be that creative and know he can do this, he has to have been a barber. Should be like a fade on that side. So right now he's explaining to me that he wants a V in the back. He wants to come to a point. Um, he wants the other side to be lined up uh, to separate the dreads. How unique, how unique can you get? I hope he does some type of fade. It's already not looking bad. It's a world of a difference, man. And the bulk of it is cut down. In my Babylon Skeleton FX trimmers, and I'm gonna set in the bald line in a rainbow-like shape. A low fade into that V, I feel like would have been lit. Would have been fire. Keep the C cup nice and dark. I feel like that would have been fire. My wall cordless seniors um, with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch in that rainbow-like shape. That might not been a number two. Now putting on the number on one the guard in that same rainbow-like shape, going up about a half inch. I'm going over the guideline multiple times to make sure it's at that one guard with the lever open length. Putting on the two guard with the lever open, I'm basically just clearing up that area at the top, kind of debulking that area, not really setting in a guideline, but just taking it down to where it blends in nicely. His client's hair blends really, really nice. It's already like blending in. He has a huge coming back down with the, guard, the half with the guard open or the up zero guard between the one and the two in a flick out motion using my corners. Like he's starting to blend out that guideline now, but it's it's almost blended already, and it looks now really with really great. Now guard closed in a flick out motion using only my corners. I'm flicking out that middle line. Remember to start below the line and flick to the line. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. I'm using my corners the whole entire time. Um, if you need to baby step this, what you can do is you can set the lever in the middle and kind of soften that line up first before you actually fully close the lever. Man, that came together quick. So the most important part quick, of the blend together. is how well you can detail. What I like to do is I like to rest my eyes, take a look away from the blend for a couple of seconds, refresh my eyes, come back to it. Those bars. Areas where I and he's using a lot of corner and stuff, but like he said, using the mirror, using your camera, but this is where you want to spend a bunch of your time, like Jeezy's saying, but the more experience you get, the less time you're going to have to spend in this area because you got to develop a barber's eye. A lot of people haven't developed that barber's eye yet, and so they don't see some of the things that Jeezy's detailing. Some people might think he's not really doing much because they haven't developed that barber's eye, but those who have, who have some experience, 
they can see exactly what he's doing to get this taper to the next level and i say it all the time to barbers most clients are good with the taper before the detailing like they most people wouldn't be able to tell the difference between before he started detailing and after he started detailing but someone like Jeezy or like myself we noticed the difference and you know i think that's part of becoming a successful barber is sometimes you do things a little bit because you care about the craft you care about your art and it's not always just about what's gonna make you the most money you know what i mean this tape is looking fire on so like my client was explaining to me in the beginning he wanted that v part in the back please tell me you're gonna taper though separates the hair the back. from the please mohawk please tell me you're gonna taper um some taper the back so i'm just gonna speed this part up okay this this might end up being better than the low fade i was talking about would have looked dope because the taper surrounding that v probably gonna look crazy Oh, I see the skeleton FX is you got you got the, the purple ones. Those are Franks, I believe. It actually looks really good with the purple guards and stuff. Yeah, it's coming out tough. The way he speeds up the tutorial. So right now I'm gonna take out my clips because I want the hair to hang over on the other side and yeah. it's just clearing out um, that area where I need to set the part in. So right now I'm gonna set Bro, the part in. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. And I'm basically separating the waves from the dreads. And remember, when you're doing a part, there's two uh, parts to the sides, right? There's the side that I'm working on now, and then there's the other side. Sometimes it can get repetitive in the shop and you're doing the same haircuts over and over again. I would love to cut this guy's hair because it's different, bro. Something new to the table. When you doing the same cuts over and over again, getting something a little bit different, man, it can be refreshing, bro. He wants to part all the way through. I got a flight to catch tomorrow, guys. I'm going to Dominican Republic for vacation. Bro, this is the most unique haircut I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> Easily the most unique haircut I've seen on YouTube. That's the title of this video. No. No. That beard faded in would have looked crazy. Fire. I can't barely grow. No, the mustache too. Man, I can't barely grow a damn beard. Shave your off. What in the world? Oh, he's gonna fade it in. He gonna do the the strips and fade it in. Oh man, really different out here, <laughs> bro. The one thing that Jeezy's missing here, bro. And I know he could have done it, bro, because he's really good at, at putting together a story and stuff and, and getting context so that you understand what's going on in the video. But I would have loved to have heard my man explaining the cut to Jeezy and seeing Jeezy's reaction and, and, and seeing how they were able to communicate exactly what he was looking for. That would have been cool to catch. Damn, man. That would have made this video on a whole nother level. So before I start the lineup, I like to spray the hair with hairspray. Overall, the video is dope. Angles of fire. Intro is dope. But that context, man, that the conversation where, they, where they're trying to figure out how this cut's supposed to look, bro. I know that would have been dope. Crisp already. Part. Get that line crispy, Jeezy. That line crispy. My favorite part right here. That beard line would have been crazy chair, with it. Bro, look at it before. Look at it before. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Look at that happen. Ah, you should let it loose. You may not agree with it, but if you do, 
I need to see the stress loose though. Please show it. Channel, man, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I wonder if he gets comments in public when he's out in public with a fresh cut. What do y'all think in the comments? What do you think people say to him in public when he's out and about with this cut? What do you think that people say in the comments? Let me know. My TikTok is official 360G. I wish he would have showed it with the with the dress loose though. But it's your boy 360 and I'm out of here. Definitely the most unique. I've ever seen <laughs> what I always happen to him, bro. <laughs> the little things he adds to the videos. That's hilarious. Jesus, that was a dope video, bro. Let's see what the comments say, bro. Yeah, I know it's gonna be late. All right, here we go. Let's check out these comments, man. I don't know what what the hell that is, but Jeezy pulled it off. What heck are you on, G? All of them. <laughs> if Tab so, where'd you find this? Was it at DMXO? Yeah, for real. R.I.P. The cut is immaculate, but the style's not for everyone. Good job. I mean, duh. That's why. That's why he wants to cut. He wants it to be unique. At the end, he looked like he was he was laughing at himself. Most definitely the oddest cut I've seen. I don't even know if the cut was good or not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo. That's funny. I may not agree, but that cut is cold. <laughs> if I would get one free haircut. You got Dre's. Dreads plus wave. All right, guys. Hilarious. Dope video as always. Jeezy's always putting out dope content, man. Like I said, man, I would love to do a haircut like that. I know some people, they don't get it, but I actually appreciate it when somebody's unique, they do something different. I like to take on that challenge just because we're creators, man. We're artists, and it's nice to do something different every now and then. But yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe to 360GZ. You probably are. I think, like, all my subscribers gotta be subscribed to Jeezy. Where's he at? And 3.29 million subscribers. This man is a bona fide celebrity. So, as a barber, you gotta definitely, definitely show love. If you wanna see the full video, Link will be in the description below. Make sure you go check it out. Yeah, man. And with that being said, let me know, guys, if there's any other videos you'd like to see me react to. Put it in the comments below. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video.